Hello and welcome everyone. I have been selling on eBay for quite some time and there was a new issue out there that I right now found that was making it so much hard for me to list something. So I have this product right here. It is a BGJ uniform. And because I got it from Amazon, it just doesn't have a UPC code. There was a lot of products that don't have a specific identification code to them. And eBay wants you to use those identification products and so they can match and so it's more easy to be found in search i get it i know why it is important at the same exact time when you do thrifting or you resell some products some products just don't have a upc code at all so what do you do there is two ways to solve this issue one some products actually do have a upc code your job is to find the UPC code in order for to complete the listing and it's going to make it look a lot better because it's going to be found easier on eBay. Second way, for the products that don't have a UPC code, what you're going to be doing is doing a special hack that lets eBay know that this product doesn't have a UPC code. Both of those methods that we're going to go into in details right now. So here is the gold BGJ listing on Amazon. The biggest problem that I find on Amazon is that sometimes you have the product that you actually like. You're going to be probably drop shipping it or selling it on eBay and it doesn't have the UPC code for it. So as you can see over here, it has the technicals, everything else is included, but no UPC code which is if you want to relist it somewhere else, you can't actually do it. So what do you go about and how do you go and find the UPC code? First off, if you want to go ahead and look up something using a UPC code, which we don't have at the moment, just simply enter it into the UPC scanit.com database, where you can go ahead and find out what is the product that you have the code from so you can make a detailed listing out of it. Now, when you don't have an actual UPC code, there is two ways for you to go about this. One way is to simply find this product and see how much it's listed for on eBay. Now, this is important because if you cannot list this product, it means your competition cannot list it as well. So that's a good thing. Now, the problem with eBay is that on eBay itself, the product is not gonna have a UPC code tag to it. So you can't just go ahead, use eBay and find the UPC code right in eBay itself because it doesn't exist. So this guy was able to go ahead and sell his product without a UPC code. So there's two ways for you to go about it, is do not use the code. Two is to find the code. So where do we find the code if we don't have the code? simple you go to something like target there is also other websites that you can use as well that have the actual code target is just one of those i'm just giving you this as an example so in target you're going to go down press on show more and this is a comparable product but it is not the same one so you have to find the same exact one but i'm going to show you exactly where the code actually does exist and you can see here upc code and the numbers right next to it so if i was to make a listing of this martial arts thing right here and i'm not including the code at upc and then i'm pressing on list it now what it's going to do it's going to give me an error. It's going to try to do it. And then it's going to say UPC code is missing. Please add UPC to the listing and try again. In order for you to be successful, what you have to do is either find the code and add it here, or you can do something else. So what is the something else that you can do here? Going into my actual listing, I'm going to be pressing on here going more into details you can see what i did i pressed on and said does not apply so the shortcut for you to be able to list the product is simply say does not apply and that's it as you say that it goes ahead and it adds that that does not apply to the actual listing and now you can go ahead and create the actual listing and it's not going to stop you as you can see over here 
my actual listing is live and it is going because I put and I place does not apply into the actual listing. This is essential for you because it's very hard to create a listing when it's not going to give you this option and the option doesn't actually exist on eBay. It doesn't give you choices for you to go ahead and do here. There is no something that says does not apply though. The option for you to put this in though is non-existent, which is why a lot of people are struggling and trying to create a listing and do not know what to do. Because over here, all you have to do, all you can do, is just add the numbers in here for the listing, which is part of the UPC code. And if you don't have the code, there is no other option that gives you to get it out. There is no something that's called does not apply. Now, if you go ahead and try to trick the system by just putting random numbers over here, what's going to happen if it doesn't match to the actual product and you're going to be pressing on list it now, it's not going to let you do this. So don't go ahead and waste your time on it. There's only two ways for you to go ahead and do this. One is to do does not apply and two is to go ahead and find the real code of the product.